Peachy here bring you highlights from the Toyota Owners 400 at Pocono Raceway. Yep, that's the track with the tricky triangle. And here we go. We're going to start off with the green flag. Robbie Bogus is on the pole today here in the tricky triangle Pocono. And keep this in mind, there will be two caution laps for every caution instead of the usual five. That's how the track was, this version of the track is set up. But I do like it because it does provide a bit of a challenge and it allows for more streamless racing even with the wrecks that you're about to see here at Pocono and oh yes there will be wrecks at this track because it is a tricky triangle after all focus off to a good start Eli Bright up to second and there's our first big wreck of the race a big pile up in the back we'll look back on it as soon as they cross the start finish line Eli Bright goes down in turn three only three turns at this track and Bright able to try to get it. Here comes Jacob Lawler. They'll race it back to the caution. And who's going to get the lead? It looks like it's going to be Jacob Lawler. How about that? Jacob Lawler just beats out Bright, racing back to the yellow. Here's the caution, the first one of the day. Only Johnny Gardner spun. And he was the only driver that got damaged from that first caution. He just spun out. That's a tough break for the five. And now Eli Bright goes down low. Over Jacob Lawler, they're picking up where they left off. And uh, Bright's going to retake that lead over Lawler. Lawler trying to fight back, goes in the wall. Went a little too close in the wall there in turn two. Now they're entering turn three, and Eli Bright is away. And Eli Bright pulls out to a big lead. And it's not going to be for long, though, because Emmanuel Harnes is going to fight back for the race lead. These two drivers won already this season, and we got another crash. Steve Gunner's around. Our winner from Charlotte goes around here in Pocono to bring out our second caution of the race. They'll race it back. Harnett and Gold Philip Goldberg in the 11 are battling for the lead. And Harnett is going to get that race lead. And here's the wreck. Siva Gunner spinning. Benjamin Miles is also involved in the spin. But it doesn't end there. Oh, Josh Crash gets hit. Crash got hit by Miles. And 31 is around as well. Not a lot of laps left here at Pocono. And Philip Goldberg going to go for the lead right off the bat on the restart. And he gets a good jump from the sixth. And he takes the lead. Goldberg is, hasn't won this season. Harnett looking for his second win of the season. So Goldberg trying to keep the streak alive of having different winners in each race in the series. Now wins are more valuable since first place gets 50 points in comparison to just 42 points from last season. So winning races is now more important than ever. And Goldberg's trying to get that big 50-point day for his team. Here comes Priya McShane for the race lead. As you saw last race, Siva Gunner collected her first win at Charlotte. And uh, now Priya is trying to repeat that, trying to collect her first win. But Eli Bright, though, goes on the bottom, and Bright going to take that lead away. He's the other first-time winner from this season. He's looking for his second career win and second this season. And now the four takes it, but here comes Kermika Jazz and the defending champion, also winner this season, and she's looking for her second win. Jazz and trying to continue her um, championship run, her um, defending championship run, I should say, with another victory as Bright hits the wall. Jazzin pulls away a little bit, but again, it's not going to last because a few laps later, Goldberg redeems himself and takes the lead, and what a run he got off turn three. Goldberg pulls away, and our final caution came out, and there you see Eli Bright, Pierre McShane make contact, and they're going to go back up on the track and collect a couple cars to bring out a third and final caution of the race. Colin Francis was involved. But coming off the final turn, and Philip Goldberg, it's been a, a lot of seasons since he last won a Pokemon NASCAR Cup race, but today, he's your winner here at the Toyota Owners 400 at Pocono Raceway. A short but sweet race, and Philip Goldberg collects the victory in the number 11, the second win for Joe Gibbs in those silver machines this season. Here are the results on the left of your screen. It was a fun weekend here at the Tricky Triangle. And we will see you at our next race, which will be at Dover International Speedway from the Tricky Triangle to the Monster Mile. So last season's race at Dover was a wild one. Let's hope that this season is just as, if not more wilder than it was last season. So hope you'll join us for our next race at the Monster Mile Dover. 
we will see you at Dover and the point standings coming up on your screen right now. We'll see you at the Monster Mile.